All right, and this is the Metal Guy 666 here, bringing you alongside the one and the only. Me. That's right, me. Myself and I. Thank you. All right, anyways, um, we're here to talk about some really fucked up ass shit. Okay, so apparently this preacher out of, I don't know where the fuck he is, is in the U.S., somewhere in the U.S., some, some fucking preacher, uh, apparently thinks it's okay to starve his dog for two days, right? And then, he's like, oh, wait, in the video, he even specifically said or says in the video, so I starved his dog for two days. This is for some Bible bullshit fucking lesson or something, you know? And then he goes and he tells the dog, and the dog has not eaten for two days, right? There's food sitting out in front of the dog. He's telling the dog, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Nope, whoa, can't eat it yet. Okay, well, all right, nope, nope, not yet, not yet. And then you see the dog, the dog wants to get to the food because it's fucking hungry, you know? So, and he's like, oh, now you can eat. What? If for some stupid Bible bullshit lesson, about, oh, man should have a precedence over the beast and blah, blah, blah. What the, what the, what the fucking crack are you smoking? How about... How fucking high are you? How about we starve him and then we do the same to him and see how he feels and we'll get him on a leash and we'll pull him back if he tries to go for the food. That's what we'll do. Yeah, of course. <clears throat> I, I'm all for that. I mean, hey, I mean, look at, look at, look at the size of him. He looks like the size of a... Me and you, me and you put together side by side, you know, it looks like he could, he could use some anyway, you know. You know, how fucking dare he, and I sit there and I watch, I sit there, I clicked on another one of his videos he had up there, where he was doing, he was making, um, this pig, he was doing, he was like making this pig not eat and shit, he was having like, this female pig, he's like, no, 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 you can't eat shit, no, 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 you can't eat shit, no, 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 I'm like, the fuck? This guy, is, this is straight up animal fucking cruelty. And then you get motherfuckers in the comment section of this shit saying like, oh, how great it is. Yeah, I oh, saw how that. Great it is. I thought this is fucked up because people were actually, genuinely, and no lies, they were supporting this. And Yeah, I know. In the comment section to his, to his fucking, uh, to his uh, Facebook page. I mean... If you if you so wish to um, have this person's name, I, I have no problem. I have no problem giving it to you. I have no problem giving you giving you a link. Now I'm not going to give a link in this video or that. So if you want to private private message me, and I will gladly tell you this person's name. Or if you can find the story, it's out there. Then by all means, then go find it. This guy is beyond pond scum. Wow. Seriously, I. I Seriously, I have. If somebody, if somebody wants to go harm him, I'm not saying to do it. Winky, wink, smiley face, winky, wink. But if you so wish to, uh, you know, no, um, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't lose any sleep if somebody did something. And um, if you're in um, Salem, Alabama, he's there. So that's all I'm gonna tell you. That's where he's at. He's some preacher to some fucking stupid church over there. Alright, so... If you so wish to, I will have no problem giving a shit out. I have no problem giving you a link. I found, his, I found his Facebook. I have no problem giving anybody who wants it. You want to do something about it? Or you want to leave him a nice message or comment? Hey, go right for it. Uh, if you want to kidnap, kidnap and starve him... Hey, if you do, you do what you do. I'm not saying to do it, but you do what you do. I just don't understand yeah. how someone can mistreat their pet. I mean, I don't. I, could you say this is a fair comparison? I mean, I I have cats, and yeah. when I see them, I want to actually treat them. I give them extra food, treats, and stuff. Yeah. Exactly. I'm not meant I to, one, but because I, like, I care. Uh, they, they love it. They love it. It's, this, um, <clears throat> this dry fish, you know. So it's, it's a whole fish, right? It's real legit, like fish, but it's dried out, and you know, it's it's made for it's made for dogs and cats and stuff like that. And you know, he loves it. You know, both of my uh, both of 
both of my cats say I love that shit, you know? And I have no problem giving it to them. I want, I want to give it to them, you know? You can't give it to them, you know, all the time, you know, but, you know, give it to them, you know? And the other one, she has a special dry food thing that she really likes, so... That she doesn't like, she doesn't like the fish ones. Well, we make sure that our cats have the proper expensive stuff because they don't like the yeah, cheap maybe not, they're not, they're not top of them. Mm. <laughs> but you know it's still good stuff and you know they, they like what they do you it's know what you they know, like always there is always always dry food for them <clears throat> they always have water always those two things they always have and then always give them uh like wet food at night time you know? but you You'd want to do that because you care. That's why you get exactly. a pet to feed them, to look after them. So how can someone stand there and do that? And yeah, I mean, if I saw we we have cats, stray cats, come to our door and come up to yeah. us, and they've got no owner. We feed them. That's yeah. what you do. But we wouldn't want them starving. Yeah, there's actually there's a few there's a few stray cats outside there. That actually somebody somebody does come along and they do feed them every single day. They feed them. They feed those cats that are around there. And dogs are a lot more loyal than cats. They're very loyal. So the fact that they would do this to their dog when you know the saying, you know, dogs are man's best friend. Because they are. Yeah. They're really like they're always happy to see you. And they're, they're just full of love, but, you know, these sort of people, it, it disgusts me that they can treat an animal like that, that way, especially when they got the pet and, you know, yeah, exactly. it's their responsibility. You know, and especially, he's doing some stupid, some stupid Bible bullshit fucking lesson, that's, that's, that's bullshit. That's beyond bullshit. <clears throat> and I think I actually think he's actually removed removed the video. That's just more evidence that religious people are immoral, that they're not all moral, that they're unethical, they're pieces of trash and you know not all religious people, I'm not gonna generalise, but it's just more evidence to show that religious people there are you know, they're they're not the, the nicest you know these the saints that they portray themselves to be all right well in uh update from <laughs> i know it's like update in the middle of a fucking video yeah i know right but anyways uh i went to go to this facebook page to go look to go read out some of the lovely comments from that video and it sees he has deleted his facebook page but there was a lot and i mean a lot of people up there that were saying like oh how great you know, how great, you know, was something you do in price cheap us for this. You know, oh, good Bible lesson there. Blah, blah, blah. There was a lot of, look, there was no hate comments. Or unless there was, but he maybe it deleted them. That's, that's probably what I think happened. And then I don't know what happened. Like I said, I, I found it. I found his Facebook when I found this fucking, this article. And, and I watched the video myself, and like I said, specifically, he said in the video, he's like, I starved this dog for two days. Man, I really hope, like, the SPCA was called for him. That's, for us, that's, like, the animal, you know, well-being and stuff like that, you know, or even PETA, you know, I, as much as, as much as, as much as I hate PETA, I would like to see PETA go after this guy. <laughs> well, I'm not happy with PETA because they attacked Pokemon, and i uh, Fucking love Pokemon games specifically, but that's another I topic. In general, I mean, I've got a laundry list of reasons as to why, not just because they were after Mario and Pokemon, you know, which is utter ridiculous. I mean, the reason why, the reason why Peter did that is just so they could make their parody game. That's literally the reason. They really didn't have a problem with it. They just, they literally did that just so they could make it, put out their parody game and not get in trouble for it or something like that. I don't know. That's what I heard. Whatever. Uh, but anyways, they're, they're, I have a lot more reasons to fucking hate them. They're a pretty fucking scummy group. And how they even support, they even support terrorists. Eco, eco terrorists, but terrorists nonetheless. Oh, I'm not joking. I'm being serious. They that's do. fucking terrible. I mean, uh, there's not enough fake palms in the world to... <laughs> Yeah, I know. They'll, they'll try. They'll try. They'll try to deny it all they want to. But there's fucking proof. 
there's fucking proof out there. Well, I don't. There's like there's a laundry list of another reason to hate PETA. I mean, it's like I, I could do a whole video series on that, but I, I'm not going to. I don't want to waste my time like that. If that was meant to be I, a Bible lesson, then what you learn something from a lesson, though, don't you? So, what did people yeah, I think, learn? I think, he's, I think with him deleting his Facebook, I think he's learned his lesson. Mm. Don't do that shit again. Don't do that shit. Or maybe, or maybe terrible. I really hope he got like arrested for animal cruelty, you know. That would have been awesome. Because <laughs> they're not going to take too kindly, too kindly to you and you in prison. You know, there might be a lot of like, you know, criminals and shit like that in prison, but there's just, there's a few things you just don't go to prison for, you know, you don't tell nobody. I just, I just don't like the, especially, the mindset. Especially hate pedophiles. Pedophiles in prison, they don't last very long. There's one, there's one story of one person who, uh, he was bragging about how he raped some 12 or 13 year old girl. What would you brag about something like that? He was. He was bragging from what I've heard in the story up, about it. it. And he literally, he got disembowled. We're talking like they made prison shanks. They cut him open with prison shanks and started taking and ripping out his intestines and everything else from the inside. From the inside and bringing it out. They should have choked him with his end trials as well. That would have been funny. <laughs> yeah, this is this is not the place for it. I was just using that as an example. You don't go to. Anyways, I ain't got much really to say about this other than the guy is fucking scum. And my headphones keep on wanting to come off right there. But anyways, uh, you got anything else to say about this? I just think that. We're living in a really fucked up world and you don't really realise what's actually going out there until you get out of this rock that you live in and the fact that people like this exist. And I, I know you're going to get some oddballs out of 7 billion people, but fucking hell. This, this is nev we're never going to have a stable society. We're never going to have a full-on normal stable society because fucking this is proof of it. <laughs> it's fucked it's up. It's fucked up. But yeah, we're going to do a signing off thing, so I'm going to say adios. Okay. Alright, and this is Metal Guys 666 here. Sign time, guys. Keep it metal. Now I'm out.